You know what was really horrible back in elementary school? Swish. Every single morning in the homeroom, we had to swish. That nasty pink mouthwash with, who said, said it's supposed to taste like bubble gum, but oh no. Definitely did not taste like bubble gum. It might have smelled like it, but it definitely didn't taste like it. Oh my goodness. Do y'all remember Swish? Man, that was some nasty stuff. I mean, it's bad enough that, you know, when you take medication and when you um, take like cough medicine and all sorts of stuff like that, that it all just, oh man, it tastes so bad. It tastes really, really bad. It kind of reminds me of um, the Nutty Professor 2 when uh, Cletus Clump took some of that, that U formula and he kept complaining about how nasty it was. That's exactly how I feel about cough medicine and especially about freaking swish. I think probably the only the only liquid that I can deal with that's not too big of a deal is like, you know, like mouthwash, you know, like a uh, scope or or um Listerine, you know, that you know, with some with some flavor to it. You know, it can't be that plain stuff. That's just no, that no, that don't work for me. No, 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 no. But oh my goodness. And what was bad about the swish? We had to like swish and hold it in our mouths for like dang on like a whole minute. It was annoying. Oh man, that stuff was nasty. Stuff was so nasty. Man, I hate it swish. That's what they called it. Back in elementary school. I'm sure there's probably some other name for it by now, but I remember it being Swish, and that mess was freaking nasty. To quote Cletus Clump, Clump Oh, that's some nasty mess. And on that note, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new episode of VF Arena. It is Wednesday, October 31st, 2018, and we are here live on Twitch. I'm a little tired, but I'm here, ready to deliver what I do best. Anyway, uh... Let's go ahead and make a room, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, touch. Hope everybody is having a good day. Hope everybody um, stays safe tonight for those that are... Um, Taking their children out for the evening to go trick-or-treating, which I didn't think that was something folks still did. I mean, I hadn't done that in, like, like ever since I was a kid, so I wouldn't know. But, um, yeah, for those that have children that are taking their children out, please be careful. Please be safe. And, of course, as my mom would tell me, you know, when I was a kid... You know, check their candy and, you, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, most most of all, just be safe. Protect and watch your kids. Anyway, tonight I wanted to focus a lot of um, tonight's topics because um, I was talking on uh, VFDC and... Um, I was just thinking, you know, I should start, you know, having some more centered, uh, focused topics on each episode that I do. Not, not that I don't have any problem with general conversation, but, you know, make it, make it sort of interesting. You know what I mean? So tonight, I want to talk martial arts and martial artists and stuff like that. Forget the spooky stuff. Let's, let's talk about some good stuff. So. Um, okay, got a room open. I'll invite some folks soon. 
one second. Okay. And for those that um, want to get on and chat, I know STL Tim said he was up for it. I have my Skype up and ready. I have Discord up and ready. Or at least I think I have it up and ready. So if anybody wants to get on VF Arena and chat, uh, let me know. Um, I can't do Xbox Live Chat because I don't have a compatible headset that will go on my arcade stick. So just a FYI on that. But, anyway, didn't mean to do that. Let's see, who is on tonight? Uh, huh. Dang, I don't see anybody on. Where y'all at, huh? Where y'all at, huh? Wow. That's, that's kind of a bummer. I don't see nobody on. I need to add Femto. I don't even have him have him added. I need to add him. Real Femto. Yeah. I guess Puerto Rican style as well. I haven't seen him in forever. Yeah, why not? I got the space. Why not? Well, got a little bit of space that's another thing they need to do they need to increase that dang on friends list count like seriously but um martial arts martial artists um it's really hard to come up with like a top five for me because there's like so many great ones and 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 also make note that they don't have to be like legit martial artists they can be action stars as well but but, like, I really, growing up for me, uh, I might have to jump on ranked. But I'll, I'll give it a moment. Um, but, yeah, open room. Shout out, open room. Anyway, growing up, of course, Bruce Lee. I, I, I think when it comes down to it, I have to say Bruce Lee is probably my favorite martial artist of all time um, I have seen the movie enter the dragon which probably to this day I think is safe to say is probably one of my favorite movies enter the dragon I have seen that movie so many times growing up as a child like you know I mean of course it I know that the movie came out in the in the 70s you know, I wasn't born until, you know, 1984, but uh, my older brother introduced me to Enter the Dragon, and that's how I learned about Bruce Lee, because I didn't know who it was until I saw that movie. Um, I want to say I was like five or six when I first saw Enter the Dragon, but um, I remember my older brother had it recorded on uh, VHS, uh before uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, Bruce Lee, to this day, still one of my favorite martial artists. Um, someone that really kept, him sh kept in shape. Um, it's just really unfortunate that, you know, he, he passed away. I believe, if I remember correctly, he was, what, 32? 32 or 33, one of the two. But um, I can't even imagine what it would have been like if Bruce Lee was still alive to this day. You know? Uh, you know what? Let's, let's get on ranked. Haven't done ranked in forever, but maybe there's some folks on ranked. We'll see. But yeah, um, oh, oh dang, there is a bunch of people on ranked. Well, this is a small handful, I don't know if I can connect, nah, I can't even connect to any of them. Jeez. Dang, I can't connect to any of these guys. 
I can't do it. Well, let's let's try a quick match, I guess. But um, I remember in watching a, a documentary. There's a really cool documentary on YouTube uh, about Jim Jim Kelly. Um, it's a two-parter, and um, I n remember seeing that one of the things that Jim Kelly mentioned was that. You know, before, originally before Bruce Lee died, he had plans to uh, do uh, another film with Jim Kelly, which I would have loved for that to happen. But of course, you know, Bruce Lee died before the finishing of Game of Death. That was his last movie. Um, but I would have loved to have seen Bruce Lee and uh, Jim Kelly in another movie together. I think that would have been excellent. That would... I can't even imagine how creative that could have been because, you know, as a lot of people, you know, who know Jim Kelly, um, for those that don't know him, he played, he got his big, big break into the film industry, especially, you know, action star in industry um, because of Enter the Dragon. And it's interesting because originally, originally, there was somebody different that was supposed to be playing the part of Williams that was already, I guess, in contractual discussions. But um, down the down the line, Jim Kelly ended up uh, being approached and steered. Well, I don't really want to. Well, uh, I I guess. Sure. I don't I don't care. I just I just want to fight. I don't care. Um. But he got approached by, um, I think it was Fred Weintrump of Warner Brothers. And, you know, he showed him some moves and stuff like that. And then he took a look at the script for Williams and he ended up getting the part. It was, it was, it was crazy. Did all that and he was able to get the part. Oh man, I don't know. I just want to fight. Uh, I probably won't fight him again after this, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, it is a little bit laggy, but uh whatever. Nice. Anyway, so uh, Jim Kelly got the part of Williams, and uh, there was a there was another thing Jim Kelly mentioned uh, for those that were watching the um, the documentary and to all his fans. Uh, very very interesting, but uh, originally Jim Kelly was not supposed to die in Enter the Dragon. Uh, John Saxon, the man that played Roper. He was originally supposed to die. I did not know that. I did not know that. The original script had uh, Williams to live and uh, Roper to die. The reason why it got changed was that at the time, you know, Jim Kelly, I think, only did one movie previously before Enter the Dragon. And, of course, John Saxon had already done a handful of movies. And John Saxon's agent was like, look here. If John Saxon's going to be in this movie, then Jim Kelly has to die. So, they had to change that. And, um, you know, Jim Kelly had to, had to die and um, enter the dragon. Ugh. Where's everybody at? 
Maybe same. Let me, let's try same area. Maybe maybe same area. No. Nobody. Dang. This is kind of a bummer. Huh. But the thing that's really cool was that uh, this was the movie that helped Jim Kel Kelly break out as an action star. And if it's one thing that I really appreciate about Jim Kelly was the fact that, you know, he set his goals and he went hard for them. You know, just like how he set a goal to um, one of the things that kind of helped him to get a little bit of exposure going into the film business was him uh, winning the, um, the karate uh, middleweight championship. So I thought that was cool that he, um, you know, had a habit of setting goals, uh, really gave up sports. I mean, he played some, you know, he played a lot of sports in school, but um, decided he wanted to become a martial artist and, and pursue, pursue a film career. And, you know, he did what he needed to do to get some exposure to really give him a shot and winning the, the um, karate uh, world middleweight championship helped with that so I just I thought that was I thought that was really cool here let's try a quick match with uh, same area but um I would have loved to have seen Bruce Lee and Jim Kelly again that would have been really cool uh let's see Jet Lee Jet Lee is another martial artist that um, I really, really enjoyed and the, you know, the years where he was a lot younger and more, more fit. I know he's much older now, but I got my first exposure of Jet Li through, uh, Lethal Weapon 4. He was, he was the bad guy in Lethal Weapon 4. Uh, not an excellent movie, but had some pretty good action, but, you know, definitely not the best Lethal Weapon movie out of the out of the four um but yeah he was a bad guy and um i was just thinking whoa who's that dude that dude's dude's awesome dude can fight and then uh from there i saw uh black mass which black mass was 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 terrible uh slopping sky Ew, i don't even like the name but whatever i just want to fight i don't even care um yeah, let's fight. <laughs> Another way, Faye. Uh, what else I was thinking? Uh, but yeah, Jet Li. I think one of the movies that really, really got me hooked, like to the fullest, uh, with Jet Li was Fist of Legend. Fist of Legend, I think I would have to strongly say is my favorite Jet Li movie. Next to uh, Unleashed and Kiss of the Dragon. Oh, okay. Oh, this guy might beat me. Or not. Alrighty. Nice. Oh, 
Anyway, um, Jet Li, Fist of Legend, and Kiss of the Dragon, um, and Unleashed. Those would probably be my top three Jet Li movies. Um, Fist of Legend had a lot of great fight scenes. Um, oh, Tai Chi Master was really cool as well, uh, with, um, Jet Li and Michelle Yeoh. Um, Kiss of the Dragon, um, definitely, <laughs> I won't ever forget, uh, this was back when Blockbuster Video was still open. I remember I was sick, I was bedridden, and I remember, uh, my mom actually went out and, um, got me, rented, uh, Kiss of the Dragon from Blockbuster for me. So, that was, that was really cool. Um, and that was how I saw that movie. Um, the only Jet Li movies that I've seen in the theater are, whoa, um, let's see. I've seen, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, here, let's fight this knife, Dan. I guess. I don't care. Um, I have seen in the theater, in the theater. Oh, Romeo Must Die. Which was pretty good. Um, the Forbidden Kingdom. Which, honestly, here's my thing about the Forbidden Kingdom. Of course, the big deal about the Forbidden Kingdom was, was supposed to be the hyped up battle between Jackie Chan and uh, Jet Li. Which, I mean, it was alright. But it could have been a lot better. It really could have been a lot better. I'm gonna just keep drop kicking him. He's not blocking low. Eh, whatever. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So, Romeo Must Die, The Forbidden Kingdom. Uh, what else? Ha what other Jet Li? Oh, I've seen War in the theater. I not impressed. I was really hoping for an excellent fight between Jet Li and Jason Statham. Utter disappointment. Utter, utter disappointment. Um, let's go back to Worldwide. I was really hoping for a better fight between those two. The story of the movie was eh, but, you know, I won't spoil anything, but it was eh. Um, let's see. But I hear, um, if I remember correctly, um... Jet Li is kind of going through like, what, some health issues or something like that? He definitely doesn't look his normal self. That's for sure. So, I mean, I don't know if he's really in any condition to, to do any movies right now, but I mean, you can only hope that, you know, that'll eventually happen, or he'll at least have one more shot at it, but there's no, there's no telling. What's good, Art Blood? Oh man, everybody's on rank tonight, and none of the folks on my friends list are available. But I'm here discussing martial arts and martial artists. So by all means, join at least join the conversation. Um. 
Uh, what was I? What was I thinking? What was I gonna say? Um. <coughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like, is Jet Li done? with making movies? Like, is he just in no condition to make make movies? Um. Actually. Me. But uh. What was I gonna say? Tony Ja. Tony Ja is a beast. I like Tony Ja. Uh, first heard about him through seeing on on Bach, of course. I remember. How did I see on Bach? I think uh, a friend of mine back when I used to work at Red Storm, I think, told me about on Bach. And then. I want to say he let me borrow the movie. It was either him or or a good childhood friend of mine let me borrow the movie, or we watched the movie together, one of the two. And that was how I saw On Bach, and I fell in love with Tony Ja. That dude's a beast. Um, I like the On Bach movies. The first one's the best one. Second one was all right. The third one was eh, but it still had some good fight scenes, I guess. But um, let's see. What else? Oh, The Protector. That, The Protector, I definitely saw in the theater. That was a great movie. I'm glad I got to see that in the theaters with two really good friends of mine. Um, one is no longer here. May he rest in peace. But um, that was a lot of fun. That was a great time. We saw we saw that movie at uh, um, Regal, Regal Theater in North Hills. Yep. Such a great movie great great movie um definitely one of my favorite tony john movies um the protector 2 was pretty good for what it was saw it on netflix um of course that was where he got the the team up with uh gj yanin which you know usher into gj yanin um pretty much the female tony jaw uh chocolate great movie first saw it via Netflix um trying to remember who told me about chocolate somebody told me about chocolate I, I don't remember who it was but somebody somebody told me about chocolate but um uh, no Okay, really? Like... Basic Style says, Who represents your favorite adaptation of martial arts and video games? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that is a good question. That is a good question. Um... <sighs> that is a good question. Um, so let me think. Uh, definitely... Hmm. I really, really, when it comes to Bruce Lee, let's take Bruce Lee for example. I really like to take bits and pieces from, you know, from Jack, from Jackie, Jan Lee, and Martial Law. But, geez, if I have to say, if I had to ask. For Bruce Lee, that's tough. That's really, really tough. Um, I definitely feel like uh, Shundi does the best uh, drunken kung fu. Um, I think Brad Wong, Brad Wong, and uh, DOA sucks. Um. I mean, Brad. I mean, Shun D actually takes drinks. I don't think Brad Wong even takes drinks, but Shun D actually takes drinks. So therefore, I feel like Shun D does it the best. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness! You know who? Um. Basic style says mine is Steve Fox for boxing. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one. 
that that's a good one that's that's a good one steve fox um i would say eddie gordo for latif crowder um you know what i know this is gonna sound kind of weird but um for those of y'all watching y'all y'all know the martial artist uh wu jing y'all know wu jing um he was in uh he was in spl um aka um goodness gracious i forgot the alternate name for it oh man i'm just i'm just failing he was also in a uh, city under siege he was in um wolf warrior one and two uh dang it i'm messing up right now Shapo Long. It's the movie with Donnie Yen and, and Wu Jing. Oh, I should know it! I feel dumb! Um. Oh, kill zone! Kill zone! Kill zone! Uh, Lee Chow, Lee Chow Lan, kind of reminds me a little bit of Jackie Wu Jing. Get out of here. Um, Lee Chow Lan remind reminds me kind of uh of Jackie Wu Jing, especially uh from from Kill Zone, from how he is in Kill Zone. But, um, oh, Fang Wei, I like Lei's Kung, Kung Fu, Fang, Fang is nice too, I love Fang Wei, does the, the Chinese Kempo, I really, really, he's probably to this day one of my favorite Tekken characters, like just of all time, um, I really like that style, of course, you know, I like pro wrestling, um, I definitely feel like Pai Chan, like, does the best adaptation of, like, the Wushu style. Although, uh, Ling Xiao Yu is, is pretty cool as well. I think Pai does really well, especially with her moveset in, um, VF5 and VF4 Evo. Um, uh, I guess I'm just fighting on rank tonight. Uh, uh. Everybody playing that Red Dead? Red Dead Redemption. Which is a beautiful game. It's a gorgeous game. Um, I like Bruce Irving's kickboxing not to take anything away from Brad but I like Bruce Irving when it comes to kickboxing Muay Thai kickboxing um Zach in DOA sucks oh my goodness I can't stand Zach um of course uh, snake style kung fu um, I would definitely have to say Christy from DOA. I know Shang Tsung used Snake Style in uh, what you call it, Mortal Kombat, uh, Deadly Alliance. It was Deadly Alliance or Deception, one of the two, and that was one of his styles. But I feel like Christy from DOA does it really well. Oh, changing to Vanessa. Okay. Basic style says Brad is just Brad. He's not a good representation of Muay Thai, but he may be more kickboxing. Yeah, that that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know. When I think of Bruce Irving, I think of Tong Po. 
You know what I mean? I'm think think of Tong Po. Time for a combat seminar. Round one. Ready? Go! Oh, what the heck? He's not moving. Oh! Dang it. Move. I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm destroying you. Come on. There it is. That was what I was waiting for. All right. Hmm. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nice Godoku combo. Dang, I wanted the body slam. Uh, oh well. Um, I definitely really enjoy. But you know what I really, really, really want to see? I want to see a representation of Eco Uias in a fighting game. I want to see that C lot. I want to see that. That's like the big wish list for me personally for a fighting game is to see a, a a representation of that style I would love to see that um see another kickboxer I can't think of another kickboxer kickboxer character um ooh for taekwondo um, definitely Baked Dosan. I like Baked Dosan. Although Huarong is pretty cool as well. But I think Baked Dosan just nails the, the overall look and the style. So he gets bonus points. Uh, Brian Fury. Oh, oh yeah, Brian Fury. Brian Fury. I, I feel so dumb. I had, to th I had to think about who the heck is Brian Fury. Brian Fury. That's right. Um... The uh, the dead guy, right? Is the the dead guy? Um, does the has the snake skin pants? I don't even know if he still wears those. Um, basic style says Huarong keeps getting more of Bake's moves. Oh, for real? I do. I actually haven't used Huarong since Tekken Five. I think that was the last time I messed around with him, but uh, let's see. Of course, you know Lei Wulong, you know, is pretty much Jackie Chan. Does a does a great representation of the character. The only thing I just wish we could see more is like more moves in the different styles that he does. Like I really feel like that would have been excellent. But but I mean, it's one of those things that you know. I guess you know they could have done they could have done better with. Um, JSM Ninja World Clash Bullshito. Let me let me click on this. What is this? Ooh. Bollywood Hindi action movie. Huh. I have to check that out. That that looks pretty interesting. Um, let's go to VFDC and see um what some of the styles folks had mentioned. So 
STL Tim mentioned Tenshin Akito. Um, I'm familiar with Akito. I'm not familiar with the Tenshin part. So if anybody is familiar with that, by all means, share. STL Tim supposed to be around, but no showy showy. Um, <laughs> JSM says this is a really terrible fight scene. Brian Fury is supposed to represent kickboxing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, think wasn't Brian Fury also in uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken? I think he was also in that game. But um. <laughs> Base styles is I'm so surprised that Tim isn't here. I mean, didn't see him online, and you know, he has my he has my Skype, and I'm on Discord, so. Um, Akito, Nina Williams, Nina Nina Williams, uh. Hmm. Robot martial, robot martial arts, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see what was also mentioned. Uh, oh, there's a a hunter. I don't know how good the connection will be, but we'll try. Um, of course, sea money. Mention Capoeira. Hello. Mm -mm. I should do stand up. Uh. I didn't think I was that funny. Excellent. Ah. Uh. Dangerous backdrop. Oh, that was nice. Nope. Why'd you jump? Huh, I don't know. Uh. Uh. Wrestling is the ultimate sport. I should do stand up. Uh, Tim plays scrubs and tells other people what to do. Boxer and VF would be cool. Oh, like a straight up boxer, Steve Fox style? Uh. Think many people would play as him? Um. Yes, if he's done right. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Right now he's doing sit down. <laughs> Um, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, what's the style that, um, Dragonov does? Anybody know Dragonov? What's, what's his style? I, I can't think of what his style is. His style is pretty cool. Sa Sambo. Thank you, basic style. Sambo. Uh, I am not too familiar with that style, to be honest with you. Um, but Sambo, I always thought Dragonov 
was pretty cool. Even I know he didn't say much, but he was pretty cool. Had a cool style. Ever since I first saw him in um Oh, one second. Somebody friend of mine wants the the link to the to the stream. One second. Hiya. Bam. Okay. Still searching, searching. Um, I really like uh, Dra Dragonov's adaptation of the Sambo style. Um, I really like El Blaze with Lucha Libre. Although, you know, El Fuerte, ugh, and La Mariposa. Uh, nah, I think El Blaze rules in that department. I, I I think El Blaze rules in that department. Um, no. Um, how about straight up karate? Straight up karate. Um, think John Kuja does really well. Hitomi. Hitomi does pretty well. Um, Ayn does pretty well. Um, I don't. Has there has there been a lot of karate guys in in, in fighting games, or at least three D fighting games? Oh, Bob. Well, wait. Bob counts, right? Bob counts, right? Um, or maybe Slim Bob. <laughs> um, Tekken has Jin. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his is kind of a you know karate with some mix of flex skink. No, um, with some mix of the Mishima style. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Ooh! Here's somebody with a lot of bars. Yeah! Let's fight! Cat Candid Corn 536. Alright, let's do this. Oh, and if you're watching... Hi, Alice! Oh. Round one. Ready, go. Not bad. Jackhammer. Not bad. Yeah. Falcon arrow. Oh yeah. Okay. I was wondering what this dude was gonna was gonna at least take some drinks. Can't give this guy any chance. Yeah. 
Sorry. Sorry. Um, basic style says, I think the most unique character in VF is Sarah. Not for her moves, but for the way she's played. Um, I really like VF4 Evo Sarah. I mean, FS and 5 Sarah are pretty cool, but I really like VF4 Evo Sarah. I, I, I really like her. Want to fight again? You're the only one with the best connection. Sorry for the 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 motion. We can be friends. Oh man! See, I really. It's funny that you mentioned that basic style about final final tune wolf. I really wish I got the chance to play him some more back at the no matter the cost tournament. Cause, I mean. Oh man, I really wanted to play him some more just to see what else he could do. But uh, you know, of course, I only got a chance to play him in the in the tournament. And oh, Rodney, if you're watching this, I want another shot at you in some VF4. Want another shot at you? Ugh! I could I could have beaten him. Ugh! I could have beaten his his Sarah. It's all good though. But um Yes, Alice, I did win. I won the match. So the big the big wrestler dude with the wizard hat and all that, that's me. That's that's me. I really liked uh, VF5R's uh, wolf as well when I was messing around with VFR, VF5R at no matter the cost with uh, BG and Kadaj and um, uh, Duroc Reaper and a couple of other folks. Oh man. Um, yeah, basic style uh, about uh, R's Jeffrey. That's what Jacko was telling me about earlier today. Like, if um, 5R was more available here, that a lot of Jeffrey players would just be all over that. Because apparently Jeffrey is really good in, in 5R. So that's that's really interesting, though. Um, Basic Style says, Alex showed me his stuff. He was cool. Oh, you mean, um, Harpooner, right? Yeah. I think I may have fought his Jeffrey like once or twice in person. But he's been on VF Arena like maybe three times. It was long, it was long ago. But, uh, but yeah. And... Like I said, I was very thankful for the NYG crew for bringing the 5R setup. Like, because that was the first time I ever even, like, touched 5R and Final Tune. So that was, man, that was such an excellent weekend. Um. But yeah, I would love for them to. There was just some way that they could port 5R, but I mean, you know, I would love, I would love for them to. Andre Gabriel. We don't got no connection. Um, I would love for them to port VF4 Final Tune to uh, PS4. Shoot, I I would play the mess out of that. Shoot, I would stop playing FS for a good while to play some four Final Tune. The only reason why I'm not playing 4 Evo right now is because my PS2 isn't hooked up. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. But, um, let's see. Other martial artists. Um, going back to Jijai Yanan, I really like to see what what else that she is gonna do 
I know she took some time away because um, she got married and she had a I want to say she had a son or a daughter or something like that. But um, really like G.J. Yannan and Chocolate. Probably one of my favorite G.J. Yannan movies. Um, uh, there was another. Oh, my goodness. I can't. I'm just having a brain fart right now. Um, Raging Phoenix. Raging Phoenix was really good. I think I said that movie. I think I said that name right. Raging Phoenix. Uh, where she was uh, doing the, the drunken fighting. Um, she was in The Protector 2. She was in The Kick. The Kick is an awesome movie. If you like Taekwondo, if you really, really like Taekwondo... I would watch The Kick. That's a great movie. It's on DVD. I don't believe it's on Blu-ray. But The Kick. The, um, as a matter of fact... Wait right there. Wait right there. Uh, uh, come here. Uh, this movie. This movie right here. The Kick. Great, great movie. Um... Like I said, it's mostly um, it's in, it's a Korean movie, but excellent, excellent Taekwondo fight scenes, just very action packed. I definitely, definitely recommend it. And you know, of course, one of Ji Jianan's you know main styles, one of the first styles she really learned was uh, Taekwondo. So uh, yeah, this movie is excellent, 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 excellent. Um. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm stepping over everything. Dang. Um, I might have to do another custom match. Cause where are all the folks at? <laughs> oh man. Sure, I guess we'll fight again. Um, here's another name. Are y'all familiar with the female uh, martial artist uh, Rena Takeda? Does that name ring a bell? I'll give y'all a moment to think that one over as I prepare for this fight. Pie. Wow, that was way too quick. Nice. Uh oh, he's about to get an excellent knot. Out of my ring. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. Uh <laughs> Triple ring out. That that kind of was a triple ring out, wasn't it? Although that last one, I don't know. Some some may say that was lucky, but that ring awareness that ring awareness um but yeah rena takeda anybody so rena takeda two good movies uh karate girl and high kick girl high kick girl was all right but karate girl if i were to say you know what's a good rena takeda movie karate girl definitely check that out um it not too long ago came out on blu-ray but um 
yeah, Karate Girl is really good. Um, has a pretty interesting story, but a uh, great action-packed movie that really showcases karate. And Rina Takeda, um, but yeah, she's she does karate, and I believe she models as well. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend, uh, checking out High Kick Girl and, uh, Karate Girl. Really, really cool. Really cool. Yeah, let's do another quick match, I guess. Um, let's see. Scott Atkins. Scott Atkins is really cool. Um, the Undisputed movies, or at least the, the second, third, and fourth one. Um, Ninja. Ninja 1, Ninja 2. Um, Wolf Warrior. <laughs> he was okay in Wolf Warrior. But that, that last fight scene between him and Wu Jing could have been so much better. Could have been so much better. Um, Scott Atkins. What else is he in? Uh, close, close. I think close range, close range. That was a good movie. Um. Oh man. Try to think. What else is Scott Adkins in? Because I know a lot of a lot of what he's known. He's known for being, you know, playing Yuri Boyka. But um. He was in some sort of jungle movie, and I can't think of the name. Can't remember the name. But Scott Atkins, he's a beast. Who do we have? Camelot Kings. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. He's a Storm Lord. All right. I will try. I will try my best. Ooh, nice outfit. Oh. Oh man, now I'm getting my butt kicked. Uh. Wow, how did he still avoid that? Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, I ran right into that. Oh, wow, I got away with one. Okay, not quite over yet. Okay, he keeps going low. Oh, nice. Oh, almost. Good fight, good fight. That was almost a comeback. See if I can uh, fight him again.
Basic Styles says, you stop fighting me after I beat him as a 8th Q or something. Wait. Was he a Storm Lord? When you beat him? Same rank? He won't fight me again. Oh, is he is he a, a one and done sort of kind of guy? Yeah, I guess I could fight him again. I guess one one and done, eh? That's a bummer. Yes, he's a famous famous loser. Dang. Nice. Let's not get carried away now. Let's not get carried away. I'm only stating the truth. Where's he from? Do you know? That's why I waited. Hawaii? Really? Wow. I didn't think VF was... was a thing there. Okay. Or is he kind of like me? Being like... You know... Me being... North Carolina VF and he's Hawaii VF. And we're like the only ones. interesting <laughs> I don't know I try not to think about him eh, fair enough Well, I almost had him. Just fell apart that last round. Oh, promotion if I win, eh? I have no problem with doing two drop kicks in a row. Assassin. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Some oh, another one of my favorite martial artists, Donnie Yen. Love me some Donnie Yen. The Ip Man movies. Um, he was even cool in Shanghai Nights. 
uh, let's see, Ip Man, um, Legend of the Fist was pretty cool, um, Flashpoint, Flashpoint, excellent Donnie Yen movie, not a lot of fight scenes, but the fight scenes that are in there were really good, same thing with Killzone, not a lot of fight scenes, but the fight scenes that were in there were really, really good, um, Red Dragon was or not Red Dragon, but Dragon was all right. Um. Oh, Iron Monkey. Iron Monkey was really good. But yeah, um, Chinese name Yin Jidan, I think that's his Chinese name. But yeah, man, love me some Donnie Yen. The dude's a beast. Still at, still in his fifties and still is in shape. That dude, that dude could probably do movies until he's like eighty. As much in shape as he's in, Donnie Yen keeps it together. That dude is a beast. I would love to meet him. Ugh. Calm before the storm. Hmm. Who else? Oh, let's let's talk about Eco Uwais. Um, of course I heard about him. Uh, the uh, good friend of mine who I used to work with told me about Raid. Saw the trailer for the Raid. Brutal. Um, actually saw both the Raid and the Raid Two in the theater in movie theaters. Um. And then somebody else told me about Marantau, which at that time was on Netflix for a while. Marantau, really good movie. I think that was one of his first, first movies. I could I could be wrong, but I think that was one of his first movies. Um, but Marantau was good. The Raid, The Raid Two, um, Headshot was pretty good. Uh, Killzone Two. Wait, no, he wasn't in Killzone 2. Um, he was in... He did have a an appearance in The Man of Tai Chi. Um, trying to think. What else was Iko Uwais in? Man. But yeah, he's supposed to be doing some some more movies but yeah that guy I, I really like his fighting style I would love to learn Sealot Sealot's really cool okay let's go back to the same same area cause this thing is not helping but um really like Iko Uwais' style the fight scenes that he had in the raid were really really cool Oh, no, 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 no. Um, gotta play somebody I have a connection with.
Oh, man. I'm probably not going to be on here much longer. Because now it's like the opponents aren't showing up. And I don't have connection with a lot of these folks. And it's just the same. You know. But I'll try to go on as going for a little bit longer. Uh But yeah, that's my biggest wish for next big fighting game is to have a have a sea lot fighter in there. You know, kinda like Eco Uwais. That would be so cool. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Session's full. Thought, thought I actually had somebody. Let's see, just so I don't miss anything. What are some of the other styles talked about? Oh yeah, Shiny Brentford mentioned Dan Severin. The Beast! Dan Severin. I remember seeing Dan Severin. Oh man, long time uh, UFC events. Even before he uh, went into the WWE for a bit. Dan the Beast Severin. Man, that dude just... He would just rip opponents apart. He was legit. He was definitely legit. Dan Severn. I wonder what he's doing now. I'm probably going to go till 9.30. Then I'm going to cut the stream because folks ain't around. Um, was, who else? Um... There we go. Fight this guy. We got a full connection. No, why'd you leave? Oh, don't be lame. Don't be lame. Ah! He probably just left. 
He probably just left, didn't he? Monkey Kung Fu Koga Ryunin Jitsu. Which is something apparently Tricky wants to practice. Monkey Kung Fu, I mean, I mean, I guess it's kind of obvious. He's an Eileen player. And Koga Ryu Ninjutsu. I had never heard of it. Oh, that's what he currently practices. Oh, okay, that's cool. Way of the Winds, martial arts system. That's pretty cool, actually. Nice. I can dig it. Oh, where, oh, where could the opponents be? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? Not in this lobby, that's for sure. Uh, ugh. no connection. But... If anything, I'm happy to see this many... Ooh, how about this guy? I'm happy to see this many people in rank, I guess. Saturn Sonic, what's going on? Dang, that MLB one gajillion has a has an angry face. Whoever that is has a, has a has a, a angry face. Ah! I guess I'll try quick match again. What in the world? The one who got away. Yeah, no, no participants. It's, it's one of those nights, but I've been, you know, talking and trying to keep the the martial arts discussion going but I think I may slowly be running out of material and time Ooh, I want to fight this guy there we go all right let's fight come on come on come on hit the button 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 there we go Oh, it's a green lay fake. What in the world? Yeah. 
He almost got away with that. Is that all you're going to do? Like, really? Okay. There's a little, little lag. Close line. Ugh. To be strong is to be strong is beautiful. Ooh, there's Camelot Kings again. Will he give me another fight? Just one more. All right, it's gonna give me another chance. I'll try. Rage in the cage. Let's go. Oh! That was cool. I don't think I've ever seen that move. Yes. Almost. Ah. What? I couldn't even follow up. Oh, that's lame. Oh, good, good counter. Ah. Woo! So close. Oh, boo. Got him. Ah. Wrestling is the ultimate sport. I noticed he kept going low so much, so started doing the overhead. Had to do the overhead more. Huh. You sure about that? Basic style. <laughs> That's the last time he'll fight me. I 
I was like, wait a minute, he's just going to keep going low. So I was like, oh, well. Yeah. Hey, but at least I got my rematch, so I'm, I'm happy about that. You said I wouldn't get my rematch. I got my rematch. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm thinking one more fight, and then I think I'm going to call it a night. Because... Hope VF6 will not have a pick-and-choose rank mode like an FS. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm still kind of surprised, but after winning that second to last round, I figured, oh, I got a chance. I got a chance. Dang, basic style might be right, though. That might be the last time I, I see him up here. Uh, uh, well, it's a first Dan. Uh, good connection, but it's a first Dan. Uh, Dario XBR. Uh. Uh. Ah, I just want one more match. One more match. One more match. One more match. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Anyway. I just do quick match. Whoever pops up, I'll just fight. It doesn't. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I just want to get this over with. Uh. I guess. I just want to get it over with. Ah, oh, here's a Brad. Hey, you're going to get ranked up. There you go. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. 
Eh, whatever. We're done. Alrighty. You won't stay on your feet when you fight me. No, I want the webcam. What the heck? There we go. No. No! What? What? Ugh. I'm messing this up now. Sorry. All right. Uh, thank y'all so much for for coming out for watching. Um, not what I hoped for, but hey, that happens sometimes, you know. Um, I know it's a holiday and their folks are out, so I mean, it is what it is. Um. For those that tuned in tonight, thank y'all for watching. Um, that's pretty much all I have. This is Blitzball Champ signing off with VF Arena. I will see y'all next time. Peace. And be safe. Don't eat so much candy.